Hello everybody, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Swiss Knife for Oxygen Builder plugin. This is a pro version of a free plugin that's been around for a while. Uh, this pro version's relatively new, and I use it on all of my projects. And in many of my videos, pretty much every video that I have recorded with Oxygen, I get questions of, why does your Oxygen Builder look like this, with this unique theme, uh, and how can I do that myself? So in this video, I'm going to introduce the plugin that allows me to access this type of theme and also some other advanced features that I really like using. Um, so first I'm going to kind of talk about the features, the price, then I'll show you the back end demo and I'm already uh, showing you some of the theme here. And uh, really quick, if you take a look in the link, the link in the description below uh, will bring you to that website and if you enter the code isotropic, I-S-O-T-R-O-P-I-C, when checking out, you get 10% off. So pretty cool. Um, and let's get into this, this kind of rundown. So first, the main features, at least for me, the selling point was the custom theme. And as this plugin has matured, uh, additional features have been, have been added, which I actually really like. So the main two things are the themes. So let's take a look at the themes right now. This is the dark theme that I'm using uh, pretty much in my default Oxygen Builder setup and you can see that it just adds unique styling and this theme is continued throughout the entire um, throughout the entire interface and I think it makes it more visible and the main reason I actually got this plugin was because I wanted the builder to be more visible to people watching my tutorials and I think this is just higher visibility so uh, if your eyes are bad or if you just want a different theme that makes things a little bit easier to understand what you're clicking on and what's um, what's selected here then that's probably uh, a selling point enough for this plugin so this is your dark theme, and again, everything's just continued, all of the styling everywhere. It's it's a very good theme, unlike some admin themes that I've used in my past uh, for WordPress specifically, which are terribly coded. This is done really well, and you can see that there are some additional features that I'll go over really quickly in a minute. But here's also our light theme, so you get a dark and a light theme. Uh, this light theme is the same theme but just in the light version I don't use it because I really enjoy dark themes but if you want a light theme for oxygen this is a pretty well done light theme but you can see all of my browsers everything is dark so uh, I stick with the dark theme so those are the two main selling points for me in the beginning but there's also a couple other things um, you have a top bar which you can see pictured here there's a debug feature uh, an easy section panel opener or structure panel opener um, and then your native oxygen elements but just made bigger so they're easier to click on to the uh, to get to the front end and to the back end um, so this brings you to the front end page this brings you to the back end page and I believe they'll open in a new tab which is something I've set in the back end settings um, then you can also set up custom structure panels. I have that turned off for now, but you can see them here. These are very similar to hydrogen pack, and I'm going to talk about that compatibility too. Um, the custom structure panel width makes the structure panel larger. I'm on a small laptop right now, and I don't have access to my big screen, but I can push it out to 500 pixels wide, so when I have the big screen and when I'm actually developing things, um, making that larger is just easier to click on. And I think a defining theme of this theme is that it makes it easier to click on uh, so you're not misclicking and you're, you you can work quicker. The debug tool is something that is really helpful that for that white space issue. So if you've ever built with Oxygen, you've probably encountered an issue where something is pushing off the side of the page, which gives a annoying white space to the page. So So your content ends here, but this is all white right here. To figure that one out, you can turn debug mode on and that will just highlight every single element on the page. And you can see I actually have that issue here. So I can go ahead and find whatever element is pushing off the page. So we'll see that my header's fine, but the body's being pushed off and I don't know why. So I can figure out, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, um, this divider here. Uh, so highlighting all of this content is very helpful for that debugging. Um, 
now let's continue. Uh, so now we're going to get into kind of like the back end features, the back end um, panel that you use to manage this tool. The one other thing that was recently added and that I've been using in pretty much all of my development work now is the addition of, and if I can get there, the addition of autocomplete. So you can see that number one, our coding experience is a bit different. It's a it's higher visibility, so there's more contrast here so I can see it better. But now when I go and type in any any language, but I usually use CSS and code blocks, um, I have autocomplete. So I can do hashtag or ID um, ID and then I can go and say and you've already seen that that it's already auto-completing. And I have that basic autocomplete functionality that you'll find in Microsoft VS Code. You'll find that in um, CodePen. And this just makes it easy. I can type it out, B-I-C-K-G, and then hit Tab, and then say whatever I want to say. Um, this is really helpful because it just makes things quicker. If I want to type out something that's really long, let's say, I don't know if it has WebKit, no, nah, it doesn't have WebKit. But if I want to type out a longer, um, so we can just use the backface attachment or backface visibility, I can either tap on it or I can just tab it and it'll show up in my editor. And this is what is standard with all professional code editors. And because I spend so much time in code blocks, having that feature is really beneficial to me. So let's get rid of that code block. Now I'm going to go into the back end, which is what this is. Uh, and show you kind of the settings you have as well as the additional features and functionality. So um, the settings right here, you can turn things on and off. So you see I don't have structure icons on. I don't have these settings on, but I have the top bar, which is this redesign up here. And I just have these additional settings. You can choose between dark, light, default themes. Uh, the interface is pretty easy, and I think it follows the same theme of being easy to click on, which is actually a really big selling point to me. Uh, that's the back-end feature settings we have. There's a quick button right here to get to the standard Oxygen Builder shortcode signing process. Then we just have our license tab, and then we have a fonts manager. So this fonts manager is actually really helpful because Prior to this, I was using a code snippet from Matt Heiss, and he has published a great code snippet um, to add custom fonts to Oxygen. The main way that Oxygen recommends adding custom fonts just doesn't work very well. It's called Elegant Custom Fonts. So I was using that code snippet, but now because of Swiss Knife, they've added this feature where we can go ahead and add our custom fonts to Oxygen and choose um, what we actually add by just uploading font files to our file library or media library and then adding it in. And this just creates a font face rule and embeds it directly into your Oxygen site. So if you need an easy way to manage fonts too, this is another feature. Additionally, if we go back to our builder, you will see that um, these fonts are now added, if I can get there, they're added to our backend natively. So circular book is not a standard font in Oxygen. And if I created a font face rule myself, I wouldn't be able to have it show up in this selection. I'd have to, I'd have to use CSS to add it to all of my different elements. That's kind of annoying. So now I can just globally apply our font uh, via the global styles. This is something that is present in the code snippet I mentioned and if you're not looking for a um, if you're not looking to purchase Swiss knife that's another great option that's just something to consider and I think everybody should be aware of that because it makes life easy okay so those are the main features of this tool uh, the price of this tool as of the recording of this video and really quick these two things very very beneficial but really quickly, as of the recording of this video, it is $25. Um, is that $25 worth it? Yes, 100%. Um, I definitely recommend going and checking this out. You can get 10 whole percents off if you use the code isotropic. Um, and something to mention is that I purchased this plugin right when it launched for $20. Now it's $25 because he's added additional features, the dev behind it. 
um, and it will probably continue going up as he adds more features. That's just his pricing model, and I think that should be most devs pricing models. Um, the $25 is worth it. The final thing I want to mention is the compatibility with Hydrogen Pack. And some people may think that there's a lot of overlap between these two plugins, and there's not. This plugin has a bunch of defining features, primarily the code autocomplete, the themes, and the font manager. So I can use this alongside, and I believe I have Hydrogen installed in this site. Let's take a look. I can use this alongside my Hydrogen Pack. I can use this alongside my advanced scripts. And it makes things very helpful. I mean, it's just a workflow enabler. It makes my workflow quicker. And the time that I save, and you can see with my right click, I, Hydrogen works perfectly in here. And I can even populate Hydrogen icons into this theme, I believe. Um, but the main thing here is that with the time I save with this plugin, and the same goes for Hydrogen and the same goes for Advanced Scripts, they pay themselves back because they're a single lifetime purchase. They pay themselves back immediately. So I immediately have saved like an hour of time on a development project. I have a super positive return on investment just based on my hourly. So purchasing these type of workflow plugins, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. And this is just a great product. It's a great developer behind the product. Very responsive via Facebook Messenger. He'll answer any of your questions. Uh, and that's really the end of this review. It's a great product. I think anybody should at least consider purchasing it. But uh, I'm going to be linking all of y'all who ask, how do you have this background? How do you have this theme for oxygen? I'm going to link you to this video. And hopefully you'll understand that there's a big benefit at least in my opinion, with the purchase of this plugin. Um, again, final <laughs> final plug, uh, link in the description. That's an affiliate link, and you can use code isotropic for 10% off. Uh, hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And until the next video, I won't see you in the next video. I will.